In this example, we're trying to solve an integration problem by trig substitution. We have a squared minus u squared form, where a is root 3 and u is x. So we're going to use the u equal a sine theta substitution. Notice here I've already written two more identities besides the one for the trig substitution. When we go to do the integration, you'll see we'll have to use these two identities. These would be given on a formula sheet or on a final exam or a test, so don't worry about memorizing them, but we will use them later in this question. So we start the question by writing our substitution. So we're going to have x equal to root 3 sine theta. Once we know the substitution, we take the derivative. So that's dx is going to equal root 3 derivative of sine is cosine theta d theta. Now we're going to substitute in the parts. So we get 3 minus 3 sine squared theta. x is here. We have to square it. So root 3 squared is 3. Sine squared is sine squared. And that's multiplied by dx, which is root 3 cosine of theta d theta. So now we have to solve this integral. Remember, the reason we're doing trig substitution is to have a way to solve this integral. And what it does for us is it eliminates the root, giving us a trigonometric integral that hopefully we can solve. So we're going to factor out the 3 here. We take it outside. It's root 3 outside. So the integral of root 3, under the root, we're left with 1 minus sine squared. I'll write that, 1 minus sine squared theta. And that has been multiplied by root 3 cosine theta d theta. I'll try to pay close attention to the next step. I'm going to do a couple things at once here. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. So let's stick that outside to get rid of that. 1 minus sine squared. Well, that's where this first identity here comes in. 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. So this is just cosine squared. The square root of cosine squared is cosine. So this term here is cosine. We have another cosine here. So we end up with the integral of cosine times cosine, which is cosine squared theta d theta. And this is the new integral now we have to solve. Hopefully now you see that's where the second, or in this case third, trig identity comes in. We don't know how to solve cosine squared, so we replace it to get cosine to the power of 1. And we've done, actually I believe, this exact same question in class. So we replace cosine squared with one half plus one half cosine of two theta d theta and now we can integrate each part on its own we end up with three over two times theta is the integral of the first part plus 3 over 2 times the integral of cosine of 2 theta is sine of 2 theta over 2. And that's plus a constant. If we simplify that, we end up with 3 over 4. And the sine of 2 theta is a problem because we don't have any way to determine what the sine of 2 theta is. We actually have information about just the sine of theta. So we need to replace sine of 2 theta with 2 sine theta cos theta using this last identity I've already written here. So this becomes 3 over 2. And the reason I'm only writing 3 over 2 is this extra 2 here is going to cancel with this one. Times sine theta 
cosine theta plus c. So again, that part here, the 2 here cancels with this 2, because I'm replacing sine of 2 theta with this. 2 is canceled, we're left with sine theta, cosine theta, and that's there. Now, to complete our problem, of course, we can't leave theta there. Our question dealt with x, so we need to get our x's back in. From here, we know that the sine of theta is equal to x over root 3, and that tells us that theta is equal to sine inverse of x over root 3. So we know theta, we can put that in. We know sine theta, we can put that in. Cosine theta, we need a triangle to find. So we draw a reference triangle, and we put in theta, and we know opposite over hypotenuse is that from the sine ratio which makes using the Pythagorean theorem this bottom part 3 minus x squared meaning the cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse so filling in the information then 3 over 2 theta is here, sine inverse of x over root 3 plus 3 over 2 sine theta is x over root 3 and times cosine of theta which is root 3 minus x squared over root 3 plus a constant and we can simplify just a little root 3 and root 3 is 3 and that cancels with this 3 so we get 3 over 2 sine inverse of x over root 3 plus x over 2 times the root of 3 minus x squared plus a constant.